gentlemen, parents, relatives, and friends of our inductees and to the National Technical Honor Society. It's with great pride that I welcome you to the 23rd Annual National Technical Honor Society induction ceremony. My name is Jim Bellucci, and I am a Career Academy Principal at the Tech Center at Putnam Northern West Chester Boces. Before we get started, just for your clarification, if we have a need to leave the gym for any reason, notice the exits at the rear of the gym, proceed out the exits across the parking lot and await further instruction at that time. And again, just a reminder to turn off your cell phones for the remainder of the ceremony, and it would be appreciated. I'd like to now ask you to please join me in honoring America and to pay tribute to the men and women who are serving in the armed forces here at home and abroad, and ask Brianna Lux, who will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Brianna. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Joining, joining us on stage this evening representing our Central Office Administration are District Superintendent James Ryan, Assistant Superintendent, Dr. Lynn Allen. <laughs> Assistant Superintendent for Administration, Mr. John McCarthy. <laughs> Assistant Superintendent for Business, Mr. Todd Curry. <laughs> and Director of Human Resources, Mr. Michael Skerritt. And re representing our Tech Center administration is Mr. Steve Lowry, Executive Principal. And I'd like to thank also from our BOCE School Board, School Board President from the Carmel School District, Mr. Richard Kreps. I'd also like to welcome administrators and staff from our component districts who took the time to join us this evening for this wonderful celebration. I know I saw Mr. Matt Lawrence, principal at Mapac High School here. And so thank any other district administrators, staff who were able to make it out. Thank you for coming tonight. Let's give them a round of applause. And I'd like to uh, truly recognize and acknowledge the staff and uh, instructional staff and support staff at the Tech Center, and without whose tireless efforts, work, and dedication, the Honor Society induction ceremony would not take place, could not be possible. So ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce and please stand staff, the teaching, counseling staff, support staff at the Tech Center. Please stand. Okay, the neat thing about this event is it's student-led, student-run, with a little help from staff, and that's what makes it great and demonstrates how capable you guys are. So co-hosting co this evening's program are Kevin Valdez and Erica Andre. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Kevin Valdez, a senior at Mayapak High School, as well as a student in the sports medicine program at the Tech Center. The Putnam Northern Westchester Career and Technical Education Center's National Technical Honor Society is celebrating its 23rd year in existence. The mission of the NTHS is to reward excellence in the workforce education, build stronger industry partnerships in local communities, and encourage students to develop their skills needed in today's quality-driven workplace. Only those students who demonstrate a spirit of personal excellence, honesty, leadership, teamwork, and responsibility are invited into society membership. In order to qualify for nomination, 
Students must maintain a 90% average or better in their technical programs and maintain an 85% average or higher in their technical academics and at their home schools. Students have to go through an application process which includes writing an essay, getting three recommendations, and community service. Tonight we will be inducting 63 students who have met this criteria. Now I would like to introduce Dr. James Ryan, Superintendent of Putnam Northern Westchester BOCES, who would like to say a few words of welcome. Dr. Ryan. Thank you, Kevin. I'll take his speech, and I'll just go with that, because that's a ter terrific job. Uh, additionally, I'm not sure whose playlist it was for the, pro for the processional, but I like that as well. Great, great choice. Good evening. Uh, tonight really celebrates the excellence of our CTE program, its faculty and staff, and the outstanding accomplishments of more than 60 honor students representing the schools of Putnam Northern Westchester. You are joined here this evening by family and friends and school representatives who have come out to share tonight with you. And we're just so pleased and proud that everyone has been able to arrange their schedules to be here this evening to celebrate your excellence because the accomplishments of this group, the work they've done in a wide range of career and technical options is nothing short of phenomenal. And I know your parents and family members and other supporters know that, but I, I just want to tell you how much uh, we appreciate your hard work, dedication, and focus, because that really has made all the difference. I've got a couple of comments to share with you, if I could, and I'll be, I'll be very brief. But in the next few months, um, many of you will go on to begin college experiences, while others will go right into the world of work. We're so pleased and proud that we've been able to provide you with an opportunity to pursue your desires and your dreams and your passions here at Putnam Northern Westchester BOCES and to provide you with that opportunity uh, as a result of the support of a really uh, outstanding faculty. Faculty and staff that work with you every day are totally committed to your, uh, not only your success today and tomorrow, but in your future and they've invested their, their lives and their futures in, in you. And we're so, uh, we're so proud of the results because the results have been really phenomenal. In a few minutes, you're going to hear more about the characteristics and qualities of the National Technical Honor Society. If you look at the program, and I'm not asking you necessarily to go to it, but you take a look at what's obvious. Obviously, there is skill degree of talent in terms of your expertise and scholarship. You wouldn't be here without that. But beyond that, when you look at character, leadership, and service, those are qualities that are, that are somewhat intangible. And the fact that each of you has possessed that level of quality and leadership and service really is a, a special point of, of interest for us. Because the fact that we can develop that in you just represents the fact that we know that you have excellence in your field of choice, but we also know that you're great people as well. And the fact that you have those qualities is certainly a credit to you, and certainly a credit to your, your parents and family members who are here to support you as well. I'd like to leave you with a couple of quick quotes, if I could. And they'll be very simple and, and not too, too detailed, but I, I think they're important because they have to do with the, the passion and the success that you've experienced in your time here at Putnam Northern Westchester BOCES. First comes from General Colin Powell, and uh, General Powell may or may not be of, of uh, known to you, but uh, the fact that he was a Secretary of State and also uh, an incredible uh, military leader within our country. But uh, the Powell quote is this, there are no secrets to success. Success is the result of preparation, hard work, and learning from failure. And I included that because of that last piece. Because as great as you are, at some point, you're going to run up against hardship. But how you approach that and how you deal with it is going to be what makes you the person you are moving forward. And I have the greatest confidence that you are going to learn from failure and you are going to, in the long run, succeed greatly. The second quote is there, it's kind of a tiny, cute one. And it, it comes from uh, Vince Lombardi. I won't explain to you who Vince Lombardi was, but you'll get the quote. 
And I thought it was clever because he said, the only place success comes before work is in the dictionary. So a clever piece, I thought, that uh, here you are, a person that would be out there telling you that, hey, hard work is where it's at. Hard work is what's going to result in you having success in the future. You've achieved and accomplished success up to now, and I'm confident that you will continue as you move forward. So your hard work to now has really paid off. Congratulations on your successes, and congratulations tonight on your induction in the National Technical Honor Society. Thank you, Dr. Ryan. I am Erica Andre, a senior at Hendrick Hudson High School, as well as a student in the New Visions Health Honor Program. At the Tech Center, students who are inducted in the NTHS have demonstrated excellence in skills, scholarship, character, and service. Alexander Shatan will speak about skills. This evening, I will explain why technical skills help students obtain future success. National Technical Honor Society students have an advantage over other high school students because they are developing technical skills that will guide them through college and their careers, whether, it be, whether it's framing house and carpentry, saving a tree in urban forestry, or comforting a child in early childhood education. Tech Center students gain skills a few others do. Once Tech Center students learn a new skill, they develop the confidence to progress. They develop the greatest skill of all, the skill to learn. I would now like to welcome Kelly Kotman, who will speak to you about scholarship. Scholarship is the ability to master an area of learning. While natural aptitude may be important, those who succeed have the drive, commitment, and vision to see where knowledge will take them. Scholars set goals, chart a course, and take all the necessary steps to reach that goal they will continue setting goals throughout their lives. In today's rapidly changing global economy, scholarship is essential. I light the light of scholarship. And now Amanda Carbonero will speak about character. Perhaps the greatest measure of a person is their character. Whenever tech teachers speak about their best student, they say, I can always count on him or her. People of character are reliable, trustworthy, and willing to take charge. As we move on in life, we come to realize that people we value most embody those characters. This old saying may sum it up best. As a person of character is one who does the right thing at the right time for the right reasons. I light the light of character. Melissa Farrow will now speak to you about leadership. Leadership involves showing initiative, taking charge, and having the courage and confidence of your convictions. Although a leader is out front, he never holds himself above anyone. Instead, he lets everyone know they are in battle together. Leaders value their team members and praise their efforts and accomplishments. 
A true leader works for the betterment of the team without regard to his own perceived status. I like the light of leadership. And now Matthew Vassallo will speak about service. Thank you. Community involvement provides an environment in which we develop the skills and acquire compassion and knowledge that can help us make a difference in our society. Members of the National Technical Honor Society are involved in numerous community service activities, including Volunteer Ambulance Corps, Volunteer Fire Department, Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts, Alliance for Kids, Special Olympics, Relay for Life, ROTC, Guiding Eyes for the Blind, Best Buddies, and many more. Thank you. Now, Ms. Keenan, our wonderful and amazing advisor to the National Technical Honor Society, per will present the first shawls. These shawls represent your outstanding academic achievement and should be worn at both your tech center and homeschool graduations. I will be calling the students' names to read the name of their peers. The first shawl is presented to Sabrina Gill from Digital Film, Video, and Audio Production. From, bakery, from Baking and Pastry Arts and Culinary Arts, Haley Hernandez. <laughs> Kiajane Reidenhauer. From Child Development and Education, Emma Daw. <laughs> Stephanie Filizardo. <laughs> Jenna Galvarez. Zoe Loins Davis. Ariana Ramos. Kayla Golinek. From Computer Graphics, Gina Astadio.
Christine Bayham. Samantha Corrado. Caitlin Cornell. Stephen King. Jacqueline Vaccaro. Christopher Vallope. From Construction Electricity, Angela Garfalo. From Cosmetology, Amanda Carbonaro. Melissa Farrow. Ariana Tolosi. From Digital Film, Video, and Audio Production, Jacqueline Podoti. From Fashion Design and Marketing, I mean, and Merchandising, Kimberly Bates. Jennifer Mendez. Mariah Ramos. From Heating, Ventilation, and Air Conditioning, Alexander Shatton. From Law Enforcement, Claudia Betham. <laughs> Alyssa Donoya. <laughs> Nancy Sinchi. and Jennifer Villa. Thank you, Sabrina. Next, I would like to present a shawl to Samantha Mills from Medical Assistant. From Masonry, Esteban Fernandez. From Medical Assistant, Brianna Lux. Nasaya Valdez Cavada. Heather Van Assel. From Microcomputer Technology, Brandon Kunitz. James Murphy. Kira Silve. From New Visions Health, Erica Andre. Destiny Sutter.
Kelly Cotman. Annie Pichat. Brenna Corrigan. Gian Gianna Gervasi. Adelina Adamaj. Cassandra Payon. From Small Engine Repair Motorcycle Technology, Gavin Hirschkel. From Sports Medicine, Tess Bartman. Amy Rodriguez. Kevin Valdez. Matthew Veloso. <laughs> Chloe Wojtek. <laughs> Jessica Reiner. <laughs> From Vet Science, Bianca Jimenez. Ariana Paneros. And Alicia Romero. And now Jackie Padotti will now serve in the new inductees. Will the inductees please rise and repeat after me. As a member of the National Technical Honor Society, I pledge to maintain the highest standard of personal conduct. I will apply myself to continue a record of scholastic achievement, and I will strive for excellence in all aspects of my education. I will invest my talents, my skills, and my knowledge in a career of my own choosing, and shall always endeavor to uphold my obligations as a citizen, my as a citizen of, my community and my country. of my community and my country. Thank you. Please be seated. Thank you, Jacqueline. Ms. Keenan will now present the National Technical Honor Society, Joe H. Poteet, scholarship recipients. The National Technical Honor Society celebrates the achievements of top CTE students, provides scholarships to encourage the pursuit of higher education, and cultivates excellence in today's highly competitive, skilled workforce. For over 35 years, NTHS has been the acknowledged leader in the recognition of outstanding student achievement in career and technical education. The John H. Pot Eat Scholarship, named in honor of memory of the NTHS co-founder, is awarded annually to NTHS members who consistently exemplify the seven characteristic attributes of NTHS. Skill, honesty, service, responsibility, scholarship, citizenship, and leadership. 
We are pleased to award the, the $1,000 John H. Pot East Scholarship to Nancy Sinchi and Christine Baum. Thank you, Ms. Keenan. This has been a very important evening for each and every one of us. On behalf of all of those who have been honored, I would like to thank, I would like to thank the homeschool administrators, teachers, guidance counselors, and school board members who have come to share this special occasion with us tonight. I would also like to thank all the tech instructors. You all have been the hands guiding us to our destinies. We would like to thank you for believing in us and helping us succeed. We would also like to thank Liz Marks for the sound system and music. A special thanks to Pat Gilmore, Don Machete, Geraldine Gilmore, Maggie Alm Almaton, Gary Batista, Carrie, Karen Carey, and Elisa Convardi for all their behind the scenes work in making this event possible. Many thanks to Darren De La Cruz for his custodial staff for helping, their, for helping in their hard work. Finally, we the honorees would like to show our appreciation to those families and friends who are here with us tonight. It is, a special, it is spe very special to have people to share in our pride. All Honor Society members, please stand and honor your family and friends. Thank you. Thanks to Erica and Kevin for doing a great job tonight. Um, before closing, I'd also like to recognize some other district folks that I missed at the beginning. Uh, John Griffiths, Assistant Superintendent, Cronin Harmon School District. Thank you for coming. Uh, Julia Sniffen, principal at Haldane High School, thank you. And uh, Ron Hatter, superintendent of Yorktown High School, or Yorktown School District. Again, thanks really to the students and the families, loved ones, guardians, uh, for sharing them with us and making them possible uh, for us to help them grow and develop into the next generation. And just to echo what Dr. Ryan said, thanks to uh, some of our super staff, all the staff at the Tech Center for creating uh, conditions, classrooms, environments where our students can thrive. Without you and the support staff, um, we couldn't do it. And it's a job uh, that's filled with hard work and labors of love. But, um, Thank you to the staff for being there and over here too. And we'll cue, cue the music. Okay, and, and congratulations again, inductees. We're going to leave from the first row. Okay, and let's give them a round of applause as the exit. <laughs> 